What's on YouTube? It's Pete TT back at it with another Destiny 2 video. Today, guys, it is Tuesday, and that, of course, means it is reset. And for the first time, I am actually home on reset to be able to make you guys a video and tell you what to do for the week. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Of course, as always, we have things like the Crucible challenges that you can go and do. I recommend doing that. You get yourself a reputation bundle. You can turn it into shacks, get yourself some more Crucible tokens. Then we have the weekly Flashpoint. This week, it is on Titan, so a really easy one to do there. Then we have the Nightfall. We will cover that in just a moment. We have the Leviathan Rage. You can of course complete that for powerful gear. But I would note to you all guys that the Prestige mode goes live tomorrow night. So I personally won't be doing the raid until then. Okay. If you're not interested in doing the Prestige raid, then fine. Go and get it done. But if you do plan on doing it, then I would definitely hold off on doing that particular milestone until tomorrow night. Then of course we have the Clan XP. This is rewarded for doing strikes and the raid and the crucible and you know public events like um, patrols Why you're doing your public events on Titan. That's the way I always do mine. I do my public events on whatever the flashpoint is. So obviously this week being Titan. Then I pick up the patrols as I go around. Blah blah blah. It gets it done exceptionally quick. And then of course we have the normal call to arms. Go into the crucible, kill things, win matches and you will eventually after a few games get that done. The these don't change every week, sure. You know, the flashpoint changes location, but everything else stays the same. So go and get them done, guys. You know by now what you need to be doing. Here in the tower, then, we have Tess Everbus. This obviously resets every week. So this week we actually have the helmet for sale. If you want that, then go and pick it up. I actually need to get a little bit more bright dust so I can pick it up. And I think that's me with an entire set. I could be wrong. I might be missing one piece. Uh, we have the shaders. We have the Vanguard Magnus Gloss. We have the Hacky History Polish. And we have the Dawn and Husk. Personally, I wouldn't waste my time buying these. They don't look very cool. There are definitely better shaders out there. We have the Fighting Medallion. I would definitely stack up on a few of these for the Prestige Raid if you plan on going in there. We have the hard light ornament. If you don't have that yet, I recommend getting it. It does look pretty cool. It is a chrome effect. And then we have the fighting lion one. Um, really not worth buying, guys. Okay, the fighting lion. It's not a very good exotic. Why would you want the ornament for it? We have the Iranian vengeance. This is the exotic ship this week. We have breaking point. We have chrono glass sparrow. And our two emotes are confused and six shooter. So, you know, if you need any of that, guys then go and get it of course along with the weekly reset comes things like kai's treasure maps i will be putting up a video later on today showing you the location of all of them just in case you know well you're too lazy to go and find them for yourself and you just want to do it really really quickly but i do recommend doing them you can of course get you know faction weapons and things like that out of it and mods and possible exotic engrams and then we have this beautiful lady here ikora okay she has meditations now this is actually something i find a lot of people skip out on each week guys do the meditations. It's another chance of armor. You get some rep and things like that. And, well, they're pretty cool to go and do. So, if you do want to do them, this week we have the Riptide, we have Looped, and we have Utopia. That is uh, that is the meditations for this week. So, I would definitely go and uh, get them done as quick as possible. I, I personally enjoy them, and I don't understand why people don't go and get them done, okay? Yes, there's an issue with loot and things like that in the game, but they're still fun to go and do, guys. So, you know, go and get them why not right let's check out the nightfall then this should be pretty interesting what do we have this week right i'm going to the strikes here what do we have what do we have okay we have exodus crash and uh, look at that we have prism your attacks matching the focused element deal increased damage all other ends elemental damage is reduced kinetic and incoming damage is unaffected the focused element rotates periodically now that's actually really cool it means you can cheese the nightfall very very easily if you don't know how to cheese the nightfall with the prism modifier on i will leave a link to a video in the description down below go and check that out Although it isn't on this strike in that particular video, it is the same modifier and it does work. Okay, we saw Prism for a couple of weeks on a row for Nightfalls, uh, you know, when Destiny 2 came out. And uh, yeah, it works on every single Nightfall. It, it just means you have to run it a little bit differently. But, but the theory and the way you do it is exactly the same. Then we have Time Warp Rings. Vex Time Gates have appeared in the area. Pass through them to discharge temporal energy and extend the mission timer. So that's actually a really cool nightfall i will definitely be getting that done this week although personally you know i only ever run prestige nightfalls because the normal nightfalls just 
don't seem rewarding. <laughs> I don't enjoy them. They're very easy. I, I prefer to go and try myself and have a bit of a, a bit of a challenge doing the prestige version instead. So yeah, that is the weekly reset, guys. Iron Banner has now disappeared, thankfully. But uh, you know, that's an opinion for a, another video. Go and get all your weekly milestones done, guys. Chillax for the night, you know, wait for uh, the prestige raid to drop tomorrow. I've actually, uh, oh, I've actually picked up all my treasure maps. I completely forgot I'd already done that, so I don't need to get them. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go and record that video now so you guys know where all of Kai's treasure map locations are. Have a good day, Guardians. As always, thank you very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts and comments in the section down below. Drop a thumbs up on the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel for daily Destiny content. But for now, Guardians, as always, thank you very much for watching. And until the next one, I'll catch you all soon.